finals. And like I said, like this is this is Dare being stubborn. Right now, he he is not in a good mindset. Thundercat has gotten into his head, and with the type of player that Dare is, he really does. I haven't been seeing him do like pop off of random lasers anymore lately, and that was actually adding a couple of percent percent for him, like at least over the course of the game, like 10%. Like, and that's a really big deficit for him and a difference. Like, um, and, yeah. and can lead him into combos even if it's the difference, but it's that spacing that, that requires it. Dare is still plays, playing an amazing Fox right now. Like, Yeah, he's, he's still, he's still, his Fox is still really good, but he is, unfortunately, he is not picking the safest options. He's He has, the only thing he's done to combat the Ryu's down B is the fact when Ryu's above him with up air, like that. But if Ryu is right next to the stage, or he's on the stage, or he's falling really close to the stage, stuff like that, he's just, instead of throwing out maybe a fair, which has that multiple hitboxes, or even a, even better, a down air, which can lead into the up smash kill, he is throwing out nares, he's throwing out up smashes, which are the single hit, and he's getting punished really bad. And it's def I think it's definitely it's definitely gotten into his head at this point, unfortunately. Nice. But there's he finally got that kill confirmed. He un he still has it's and it's even game, but I think in between, if he doesn't win this game, he really needs to take a breather. He needs to like take a quick break in between these games, kind of sort out what he wants to do, figure out his game plan, and see what will happen after that. Thundercat is just kind of running his extra percent here mm -hmm. into the ground um, in a good way. Mm -hmm. That is just leaving him from a little bit more co combo percent, but that Oh wow! Ooh, next Not actually, one, killing that next one will do it. That and I'm really surprised, but that is the heavy fox, just barely rolling out of that down B. <laughs> I'm surprised. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Wow, the, See, the quickest of wanting to start over. <laughs> he really needs. Uh, uh, that was Thundercat. Thundercat, Thundercat one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he got he got the reset and he's up 1-0 now, but he. See, now he's thinking of a character switch, and he's thinking about a Sheik. Sheik? When all he needs to do is think about a different stage. His Fox, I think, was doing a fantastic job, especially those first two games. Yeah. And those were on stages that weren't Town and City. And then once he went to Town and City, suddenly Thundercat was in entirety of control. And so, we'll see how the Sheik goes. Sheik is still one of the best characters in the game for a reason. She still has a lot to, a lot to offer. There's... No longer that 50-50, but there's still different options. It's it's going to be tough also because Sheik doesn't have... She still has up air, which is that multi-hit move. But other than that, it's it's going to be tough to break out of Ryu's down B. And yeah, try absolutely. It. There it is at the bouncing fish. Mm -hmm. That was a mistake. Yeah, yeah. That was... I think that that was supposed to be uh, I think a B reverse needle, and that just ended up being uh, a grenade, which left him extremely vulnerable. And see, it's like it's stuff like that where it's like it's just it's so close. He's he needs to be careful because he's getting caught by. He's not as comfortable with Sheik as he is with Fox. A hundred percent. No. And I, and I think that's also because this is a new character. He doesn't. I don't know if, how much time he's put into Sheik. But his fox is definitely, I think his fox is definitely in a better. <gasps> okay, I was gonna say correct. Oh, oh but yeah, no. Yeah. He didn't jump, unfortunately, after he did that fair. But that would have been confirmed. That would have been a kill for him. That's so disappointing. Yeah, and I really think that he should go back to his fox. Yeah, he can go too. back to Smashville as his fox. Thunder. Uh, he should go back to his fox, and he, then he should go to Smashville. Smashville or Come Battlefield. On, Don't go back to town and city. Uh, he, I think... I Right now, I think he's just using this as a way to figure out what to do on the stage. Because he knows it's a good Fox stage. 
and he want and he wants to see what'll happen. Um, it looks like at least the start of this, he's he's definitely starting off very differently. He is waiting for Thundercats to approach, which I think is the correct thing to do. Ryu necessarily doesn't have the greatest approach options. He kind of has he has his nair in terms of a, a falling nair or down air into punishing that or the them trying to punish it. But now he has look at that. Yeah. And it's like he is oh that oh, was no. I don't think that was I don't think that was supposed he's to be a yeah. dash attack. He's fine though. Which the, is good. The next one will kill though at right now, but he's still getting his up airs, which Good job. Like he he knew after that up tilt that it wasn't safe to kind of be sitting there or throw out another up tilt, so he just rolled away. I wonder if it's just not advantageous for him to try and shine that was, 143 that up was fan, air. That was fantastic because he knew Thundercats was going to throw out that air dodge, and he just waited. This game, he is... Oh, he's going to get up... He's going to get Shoryuken for this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good call. He was, Good he, call. Was trying, he was trying to extend it be, to try and throw off the timing that Thundercats had, but all he had to do was just sit there and shield and wait for that last one, and he's going to get punished again. And it's it's kind of unfortunate just because of that's just what Ryu can do if you get caught in a jab lock like that with a lot of characters. It's now he's playing Dare, Dare is doing a good job with his shield with that shine because when you get hit with the shine, it returns it returns the projectile to the full. Oh my god! Okay, oh, that was close. <laughs> it returns the projectile to the original length. So even if it's traveled, it's full length. Confirm. No. No. He, he did, shouldn't have charged it, unfortunately, but he wanted to make sure that he got that kill. I don't know if it would have killed if he just hit it. Um, the shine sends the projectile all the way back, the original length. So even if it's traveled the entire way, it'll still go back that, that same distance that it just traveled. Oh my gosh, Dare to Dream, please, looking so He's got to be really careful because a Shoryuken will kill him. A Shoryuken will kill him. Confirm. Oh. Yes! He got him with 130. The, he got him with the second hit only. That was very close, and I think what was happening is that Thundercat, he didn't air dodge. Thundercat had time to air dodge, but he didn't because he was thinking that Dare was waiting. Mm. He was waiting like the previous stock where he got that air dodge read. And so he was just trying to wait and just fall down or jump after he attempted the air dodge read. But unfortunately, Dare just went right up for it, and he was able to take that, that game. And so... Good for Dare. He finally went on Town and City, and so now I th he's finally going to reconsider different stages. <laughs> and this is going to be very good. I think this is a better stage for Fox than for Ryu. Even though that it's, it works for uh, Ryu because Ryu can avoid, has more options to kind of avoid, get rid of, stay away from the lasers and options to approach. But with Fox's ability to move around platforms and to continue combos off of platforms, I think it's going to benefit. I think it's going to benefit Dare, especially because he's going to be living for probably about twenty percent longer because of these ceilings. So we'll see what happens here. He's just kind of spacing. Dare's got all the stage control, and. He's, oh, he wanted that, he's going for the fair, the drop zone fair at that point. Oh, knowing that he would have to dodge out of that down B. Yeah. What, I think what he wanted was he was trying to wait. He was trying to drop down with that Nair and wait for Thundercat to finish the down B so that the, that hitbox that takes the hit was no longer there. And so he would get the falling Nair as a result into that up smash. Oh wow, shielding that. Mm -hmm. And lucky lucky for Dare, Thundercats just threw out the jab instead of the up tilt. So nice. he only got that jab combo instead of the up tilt into sure you can kill. So Thundercat is just trying to space out. He didn't jump. Unfortunately, when Dare dropped off, he didn't jump the second jump before the up B inputted. And so the up B just started, yeah. which is just an unfortunate error on Dare's part. He has to get the stock, and he has to get that was, it now. That was very good DI. Yeah. That was fantastic DI on the Fox up tilt to not get hit by any follow-ups. But unfortunately, he just got caught in his landing with the, his side B. Oh, jeez. So, Thundercat is ha does have... He does have a percent lead. 
and at this moment he has stage positioning. So we'll, we'll see what. Good job waiting for that air dodge. That now. <gasps> oh dang it! Oh, no! and he. Oh, how unfortunately, oh. he did. That happened earlier when I was playing against him. He dropped. He dropped down with the fair, but unfortunately, he didn't drop down fast enough on the fast fall to miss that last hit. And then, unfortunately, he missed that tech. Thundercat so. showing us how Ryu is played today. Mm -hmm. Came back through losers. He was down. Oh, we got game audio. Oh my.